Menelaus's theorem, named for Menelaus of Alexandria, is a proposition about triangles in plane geometry. Given a triangle ABC, and a transversal line that crosses BC, AC, and AB at points D, E, and F respectively, with D, E, and F distinct from A, B, and C, then A F F B times B D D C times C E E A equals minus one Display style FRAC AF FB times FRAC BD DC times FRAC CE EA equals minus one or simply A F times B D times C E equals minus F B times D C times E A Display style AF times BD times C E equals F B times D C times E A. This equation uses signed lengths of segments, in other words, the length AB is taken to be positive or negative according to whether A is to the left or right of B in some fixed orientation of the line. For example, AF, FB is defined as having positive value when F is between A and B and negative otherwise. The converse is also true, if points D, E, and F are chosen on BC, AC, and AB respectively so that A F F B times B D D C times C E E A equals minus 1 display style frac af fb times frac bd dc times frac ce ea equals minus 1 then d e and f are collinear the converse is often included as part of the theorem the theorem is very similar to siva's theorem in that their equations differ only in sign Topic. Proof A standard proof is as follows, first, the sign of the left-hand side will be negative since either all three of the ratios are negative, the case where the line def misses the triangle lower diagram, or one is negative and the other two are positive, the case where def crosses two sides of the triangle, see Pask's axiom, to check the magnitude, construct perpendiculars from A, B, and C to the line def and let their lengths be A, B, and C respectively. Then by similar triangles it follows that, A, F, F, B. A, B, B, D, D, C B, C, and, C, E, E, A, equals C, A. So A F F B B D D C C E E A equals A B B C C A equals 1 
Display style left frac af fb right cdot left frac bd dc right cdot left frac ceea right equals left frac a b cdot frac b c cdot frac ca right equals one. For a simpler, if less symmetrical way to check the magnitude, draw CK parallel to AB where def meets CK at K. Then by similar triangles B D D C equals B F C K A E E C equals A F C K Display style left FRAC BD DC right equals left FRAC BF CK right left FRAC AEC right equals left FRAC AF CK right and the result follows by eliminating CK from these equations. The converse follows as a corollary. Let D, E, and F be given on the lines BC, AC, and AB so that the equation holds. Let F be the point where D crosses AB. Then by the theorem, the equation also holds for D, E, and F. Comparing the two A F F B equals A F F B display style frac A F F B equals frac A F F B. But at most one point can cut a segment in a given ratio, so F equals F. Topic: A proof using homotheses. The following proof uses only notions of affine geometry, notably homotheses. Whether or not D, E, and F are collinear, there are three homotheses with centers D, E, F that respectively send B to C, C to A, and A to B. The composition of the three then is an element of the group of homothesis translations that fixes B, so it is a homothesis with center B, possibly with ratio 1, in which case it is the identity. This composition fixes the line to if and only if f is collinear with d and e since the first two homotheses certainly fix d, and the third does so only if f lies on d. Therefore d, e, and f are collinear if and only if this composition is the identity, which means that the product of the three ratios is 1 d c d b times E A E C times F B F A equals one Display style FRAC overwrite arrow DC overwrite arrow DB times FRAC overwrite arrow EA overwrite arrow EC times FRAC overwrite arrow FB overwrite arrow FA equals one, which is equivalent to the given equation. Topic History. It is uncertain who actually discovered the theorem, however, the oldest extant exposition appears in Spherics by Menelaus. In this book, the plain version of the theorem is used as a lemma to prove a spherical version of the theorem. In Almagest, Ptolemy applies the theorem on a number of problems in spherical astronomy. During the Islamic Golden Age, Muslim scholars devoted a number of works that engaged in the study of Menelaus's theorem, which they referred to as the proposition on the secants, Shakal al Qaeda. The complete quadrilateral was called the figure of secants in their terminology. 
Al Biruni's work, The Keys of Astronomy, lists a number of those works, which can be classified into studies as part of commentaries on Ptolemy Almagest, as in the works of Al Nairizi and Al Khazan, where each demonstrated particular cases of Menelaus's theorem that led to the sign rule, or works composed as independent treatises such as The Treatise on the Figure of Secants, Rizala fi Shakal al Qada by Thabit ibn Qurra. Husam al Din al Salar's Removing the Veil from the Mysteries of the Figure of Secants Kash al -Kina and Azrar al Shakal al Qada, also known as the Book on the Figure of Secants, Kitab al Shakal al Qada, or in Europe as the Treatise on the Complete Quadrilateral. The lost treatise was referred to by al Tusi and Nasir al Din al Tusi. Work by al Siji. Tadi by Abu Nasser ibn Iraq, Roshdi Rasht and Athanas Papadopoulos, Menelaus Spherix, Early Translation and Al Mahani, Al Harawi's version, critical edition of Menelaus Spherix from the Arabic manuscripts, with historical and mathematical commentaries, De Gruder, Series, Scientia Greco Arabica, 21, 2017, 890 pages. ISBN 978-3-11-057142-4